Portillo's is known across the country for its savory hot dogs and crispy french fries. That looks disgusting. But most Chicagoans know yeah. that Portillo's best kept it. secret is its cake shake. It's a shake and it's Portillo's chocolate cake at once. It's amazing. It's, a, it's an evil idea. I don't know who came up with it. Thumbs up. Love it. The Portillo's location here in Summit, Illinois is known as the chain's sweetest sub. In this location, depending on the day, we're going to go through anywhere from Both 60 to 200 of these a day, probably. On the weekends, we sometimes make over 100 cakes on a Saturday morning. That's Kara Crumbs. She's been with Portillo's for nine years and has been making the cakes and cake shakes ever since she started working here. It's extremely chocolatey and decadent. It's very moist, it's very delicious. People are still shocked when you tell them, hey, we bake these on site fresh. The cake mix starts with its dry ingredients, baking cocoa flour, baking powder, and baking soda. There's always been this rumor that Portillo's cake has mayo in it <laughs> to make it so moist. I ain't no oh, I culinary expert, yeah. <laughs> but I heard uh, mayo is a big thing on that. Can you dispel those rumors if it isn't true? I can't tell you what the secret ingredient is. Okay. <laughs> Someone might kill me. No, I'm just kidding. The real secret is in the mixing. Portillo's mixes the batter at three different rates, low, medium, and then high. This is to incorporate deep pockets of air into the mixture to give good. it that famous fluffy texture. When it gets towards the end, you kind of get the start of that smell of chocolate cake. You're like, oh, it's almost done. It's Portillo's chocolate cake time. You got to check on it towards the end, about 28 to 29 minutes, because nobody wants overcooked chocolate cake. So when the cakes come out of the oven, we've got to pop them out of the pan so they can finish their cooling so they don't overcook in there. So we're going to just give it a good hearty tap on the side, and then we're going to flip it into our hand, and then we're going to take it and we're going to put it on this cooling rack here, and then we can frost it because we don't want melty frosting. The frosting that goes on a Portillo's chocolate cake is not homemade and is in fact just your traditional classic fudge frosting. So we're gonna first put a tiny little dot on the bottom to help the cake stick. And then we're gonna flip it upside down so that the finished product has a more even look and so the two pieces stick together. So we're almost making a hamburger out of the cake. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our first pound of frosting and we're gonna spread it out as evenly as we can. And did you say pound of frosting? I did. Okay, so there's, there's two pounds of frosting. Two pounds of frosting on every Portillo's chocolate cake. Wow. Jesus. And then we're gonna take our second pound of frosting and we're gonna put it on top and wrap it around all the sides. But we're not really going for perfection, we're going for homemade. I'm not into sweets, but this is good. This is very good. All along that, I've been going to Portillo's. I usually get a piece of chocolate cake. So you, you have to eat beef? Yeah. And beer and cake. <laughs> In that order, though. It's good. I like it. Yes. Their frosting really does it. What's Some cakes it's just kind of like too whippy or something. Dry, dry, dry. I'm not a big fan of like the whipped cream, so the frosting yeah. kind of does it. And yeah. just the cake itself. Mm. It's super moist. It's moist and spongy. Who do you want your lunch is done? It hits the spot every time. I remember as a kid, at all of our family parties, we would have Portillo's cake. The cake That's itself no is for anyone wanting to eat their feelings. This is it. But you can't just eat Portillo's chocolate cake. You gotta try their cake shake. According to Kara, back when Portillo's started making Gina and Portillo's cake recipe, they could only serve them the day they were made because that's about how long they stayed fresh for. So a manager by the name of Dale mm. Phillips thought it would be a great idea to utilize the leftovers. They started putting pieces of cake into a cake shake, and they started selling it, and it's been a success ever since. What? We're gonna grab our cup. We're gonna give it a tiny little bit of shake mix in the bottom. And what is that shake mix? Vanilla ice cream, pretty much. We're gonna take our whole piece of cake. The entire piece? An entire piece of cake. That's amazing. We're gonna put it all in this cup with this little bit of vanilla ice cream. Okay. The moment people find out that we put a piece of cake in a shake, their mind is blown. <laughs> My mind was blown today. <laughs> I'm from Chicago and I feel like a lot of people don't even know that Portillo's has a cake shake. No, they don't. And I only equate the cake shake to 
portillos. So the whole There's a lot of calories, man. thing is going to go in. We're going to make sure they get all their delicious frosting. This is why I love Chicago. Then we're going to even add some of our chocolate syrup in there. So it's chocolate on chocolate. We're going to add a little more shake. More. A little bit on the bottom so the cake doesn't get stuck in the bottom and then you just get big chunks. And then a little bit more and then we're going to mix. It's going to break up some of the chunks of that piece of cake that's in there so you can actually drink it through a straw or with your spoon on the side. You want to be able to have somebody drink this in their car when they're leaving the drive through You want a little bit of thick chunks in there just for a bite, but not a lot. And then we're going to put a little more on to top it off. Okay. And then we're going to mix. And voila, chocolate cake shake. It's chewy, it's good. It's good. <laughs> it's good. Now I don't know. Have it. <laughs> I like it when you get the chunks in there, and especially if it's like the chunks of frosting. Oh. Yeah, chunks just <laughs> gotta suck extra hard. <laughs> <laughs> The rumors are true. They do indeed put an entire cake slice into the cake shake, which is amazing. And the best part of the cake shake, for me at least, is that each sip comes with bits and chunks of the chocolate cake itself. So it really feels like you're drinking an entire cake slice. I know that sounds like a lot to some people, but it's so yummy, it's so tasty, and I recommend it 100%. The best thing that complements the cake shake at Portillo's are the fries. You literally dip the fries in your cake shake. Stop, just you take stop, a bite, dude. And you get the perfect just combination of that. sweet it's and so savory. Weird. You get the crunch of the fry and the soft mushiness of the cake shake itself. So good. Portillo's for me, as a kid, was always comfort food. It was always, you know, something that reminded me of home in a place where I could come with all wow, my friends. Wow, Americans always so cooked, Whether cook, I was man. in high school, I don't, I don't get it. In college, I always have to one so up the most variety, greasy dog shit with more dog shit. It's second same, dude. Always good. It never Especially stops. Especially the cake, the cake shake, and the fries. These three might not be on the iconic five list of Portillo's, but to me, they're the famous three. This is why I miss the Midwest. No one cares about the calorie count. You just, you just taste good food, and you eat good food, and you just eat what makes you happy. I eat breakfast every day. I mean, I eat breakfast every day, but I'm, I'm, uh, I'm pretty slim, uh, and pretty healthy. New York, I believe. For how little I move, so keep, keep coping, keep coping, you burger eating fucking well dog shit. Shut your dumb ass up, man. Dude, and you probably cope every night by saying, uh, "Dude, no, don't, don't pick on me, dude. I'm, dude, I'm, I'm, pl dude, I'm plus size, man. No, motherfucker, you is a fucking burger, dude. That's what you is. Chill out, man."